Robin, welcome to Auckland. And, uh, Thank thanks for coming along to the Heineken Open this year. Have you had the opportunity to do anything in Auckland other than tennis since you've been here? Um, well, it's my third time I've been here and actually I've never really visited anything. Um, the only thing what I do is uh, at night we, uh, we go uh, out for dinner, so we, we, we went to the harbour. Um, uh, so I saw a little bit, but uh, I, didn't, I didn't really do the real sightseeing. Okay. And what do you like most about playing in front of the Auckland crowd here at uh, the Heineken Open? Um, what is nice here is two things. It's uh, almost every day it's full. And the other thing is the, the center court is, I would call it cozy, um, because it's not, normally when you have the big stadiums, it's, it can be 20,000 people, but it's, they're pretty far away or they're already up, uh, uh, up two and a half meters or something. Uh, here, it's really, they're on the court, and uh, that gives a special feeling, and uh, that makes it different uh, than uh, other tournaments. And what about playing in front of a home crowd? What's the difference between playing there versus playing here in Auckland? Um, I mean, of course, for a home crowd, usually they, uh, the crowd uh, cheers for you. Uh, that's different here. Uh, here, maybe you have a few or even a lot of fans, but uh, there will be for sure a lot of people also against you because they're just for the other player. Um, I, I think that's the biggest uh, thing, but uh, I always feel uh, welcome here and, uh, and also the matches I play, I feel I, I've got uh, some fans here. And why did you choose Auckland for your build-up to the Australian Open? Um, I've, been, uh, I've been here before, as I said, and uh, I really enjoyed the, the atmosphere here. Uh, um, also, the facilities are really good as a preparation before the, the Australian Open. You, uh, there's a great gym, uh, you have plenty of courts to practice on, so uh, I think it's, um, that makes it uh, good to play here. You're obviously a, a very talented tennis player, but if you weren't a tennis player, what would you do as a profession? Oof, that's a tough one because uh, I actually get that question uh, quite a lot, but I, I never had to think of it. So um, it's tough to really answer it, but um, my feeling is I, would, uh, I think I would have studied, uh, studied uh, medicine. And do you have any on-court superstitions or pre-match rituals that you've, you've got to do every time before a match? Uh, no, I actually don't. Um, I do certain things ev before every match, like uh, I do my warm-up, but um, uh, if something happens uh, or the match goes quicker than I was expecting to and I have to skip maybe a few exercises, I don't freak out or something. It's, uh, um, uh, uh, so it's more like a, a ritual instead of superstition. And finally, you obviously have to travel the world for your job. It's just part of how, how it goes. So what's the one thing that you, you always travel with, no matter where you go? Um, uh, besides, of course, the, 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 the tennis clothes and the regular clothes and the things you kind of need um, to travel around, I think I always take a book with me. Um, so if I'm bored, I can always read. Um, so that's a, of course, it's not always the same book. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I, I, I can't think of uh, anything else. Uh, also in that, I don't have a... a a ring or a, or a watch I always wear. No, it's uh, uh, it's it's I don't give a lot of value on uh, material stuff. So um, so it's just uh, the book and DVDs maybe. Cool. Well, thanks so much, Robin, and uh, good luck for Melbourne. Thank you. Thanks, man.